The state patrol tonight is investigating a three car crash that claimed the life of a Farmington High School senior. It happened in Vermilion Township in Dakota County yesterday, but the sheriff's office has turned it over to the state patrol because of a possible conflict. John Croman joining us with the latest. Hey Morgan, this chain reaction collision started when the high school student was rear ended on a two lane county highway and then pushed into oncoming traffic. And we learned today that the person who hit the student from behind was an off duty 911 dispatcher, according to the Dakota County Sheriff. Pink spray paint and red roses marked the spot along Dakota County 46, where 17 year old Rodrigo Dooley of Farmington was killed Saturday afternoon. Sad, but it doesn't surprise me. Brent and Cassie Fandrup live at the intersection where the accident took place. They weren't home at the time, but every day they have to slow down to make a left turn here, which is exactly what Rodrigo was doing at the time of the crash. When you're turning off, off 46 on the freeborn here, people try to pass you on the shoulder all the time. So it's Nobody pretty, pretty down. common. Nobody slows down. According to the Dakota County Sheriff's Office, Rodrigo was in a Toyota Corolla in the eastbound lane waiting to turn left on the Freeborn Avenue when a woman in an eastbound Jeep Grand Cherokee rear ended him, pushing him into the westbound lane where he was struck head on by a family in a Chrysler minivan. Even though Rodrigo was belted, he was ejected on impact and died at the scene. We're told alcohol was not involved and the pavement was dry. All oh, people go right past me on the shoulder. They, they don't slow down. The, the Dakota County Sheriff says the woman who rear ended Rodrigo works as the dispatcher at the Dakota 911 Center. So the Sheriff's Office has turned the investigation over to the State Patrol to avoid a conflict of interest. Rodrigo was a senior at Farmington High School. Superintendent Jason Berg told us Rodrigo was part of our learning community since kindergarten. This loss will be felt throughout our district as Rodrigo had many connections across the three buildings he attended. A woman who was a passenger in the minivan was sent to Regions Hospital but has now been released. She told us today on the phone that she did not see the first collision because it happened so fast.